Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for April 9th. April 9th is the 99th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 100th in leap years, with 266 days remaining to the end of the year. So, this being a leap year, <laughs> if this were a 100-day project, this would be the last video in the series, but we're doing a whole year of this day in history, so there you go. Today, by the way, I sort of took a day off. I didn't put my face on and I don't want to go on camera. So you get to watch me crochet while I talk. <laughs> Today's word is enunciate. Enunciate is a verb that means express or state clearly, say or pronounce clearly, express in clear or definite terms, such as a proposition, theory, etc. If you're having trouble getting your point across, you might need to speak more clearly or articulate your thoughts better. Enunciate. This word comes to us from Latin words that mean to report or declare. I'd like to take a moment to mention that links to my research are included in the show notes. Ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay to the end for those outtakes and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Remember that you can share this video with others by email and in your social media. And with that, we're going to start in the year 1585, when an expedition organized by Sir Walter Raleigh departed England on April 9th for Roanoke Island, now in North Carolina, to establish the Roanoke Colony. On April 9, 1682, Robert Cavalier de La Salle discovered the mouth of the Mississippi River, claimed it for France, and named it Louisiana. <laughs> The American Revolutionary War ended on April 9, 1784, when the Treaty of Paris, already having been signed and ratified by the United States Congress earlier in the year, was ratified by King George III of England on this day, April 9, 1784. On April 9, 1859, a 23-year-old Missouri man named Samuel Langhorn Clemens received his steamboat pilot's license. He later called himself Mark Twain, and that's how we know him today. Confederate General Robert E. Lee surrendered to Union General Ulysses S. Grant on April 9, 1865, effectively ending the Civil War. Billy the Kid was convicted of murder on April 9, 1881. Before he could be hanged, though, Billy escaped jail, and we might talk about that again when it happens later this month. Not to be deterred, Sheriff Pat Garrett tracked him down, and I'm sure we'll talk about that when it happens later in the year. On April 9, 1939, African-American singer Marian Anderson gave a concert at the Lincoln Memorial after having been denied the use of Constitution Hall by the Daughters of the American Revolution. The United States Atomic Energy Commission was formed on April 9, 1945. On April 9, 1959, NASA introduced America's first astronauts. That would be Scott Carpenter, L. Gordon Cooper, Jr., John H. Glenn, Jr., Virgil Gus Grissom, Walter Schirra, Jr., Alan Shepard, Jr., and Donald Slayton. The seven men, all military test pilots, were carefully selected from a group of 32 candidates to take part in Project Mercury, America's first manned space program. The Pacific Electric Railway in Los Angeles, once the largest electric railway in the world, ended operations on April 9, 1961. On April 9, 1962, Puerto Rican actress Rita Moreno became the first Hispanic woman to win an Oscar for her role of Anita in West Side Story, a 1961 movie. The first indoor baseball game was played in the Astrodome when it opened on April 9, 1965. The first Boeing 737 made its maiden flight on April 9, 1967. The first British-built Concorde made its maiden flight on April 9, 1969. Also on April 9, 1969, the Chicago 8 pled not guilty to federal conspiracy charges. Graham Backhouse had increased his wife's life insurance and created false threats implicating his neighbor. On April 9, 1984, he set a car bomb on his car and sent his wife Margaret on an errand in his car. She was seriously injured, but she didn't die. 
Passersby found her and rushed her to the hospital. To avoid detection, Backhouse framed and killed his neighbor, Colin Bedale Taylor. This is the same neighbor that he had attempted to implicate previously. Backhouse was convicted in 1985 and sentenced to life in prison. Nearly eight years after Princess Diana's death in a horrible car crash, Prince Charles, her widower and heir to the British throne, married his longtime girlfriend, Camilla Parker Bowles, on April 9th, 2005. And I think that's going to do it for us today. As always, links to my research are included in the show notes. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share if you found this video interesting, informative, or entertaining. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. my mask if I need to go out. <laughs> you know there's going to be some outtakes. <laughs> we'll start from the beginning. We'll do that in a minute. Yeah, we'll probably leave that part out. <laughs> <laughs> so many mistakes. I don't know how all that's going to go together or if it's even going to make it to the video. We'll just see. That's not going to go. Yeah, we're going to cut those out. And that'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> So I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> that might not make it into the video, we'll see. Changing it up. <laughs>